Let's get down and dirty with the details about Mixed Martial Arts Sport Federation. Here's the founders, Rob Sabilski and Scott Fisher. We have the most exciting and intense fights in the world. Everybody wants to see who the best fighters are. Are the best fighters in China or Japan or Russia, Thailand? You're gonna see athletes that are fighting for something, team against team, country against country, the best competition at the highest level with the greatest athletes, putting it on the line for their team and for their country. The fans are just in a frenzy. They are so pumped to watch these young kids out there representing the United States. People that go to these events, they're gonna cheer the whole team on, not just one guy. This is gonna be incredible. These are pure athletes that the sport has, has truly been missing for a long time. You need Scorpion, left leg up in the air, get that stinger way up, way up. We are looking at grooming a fighter from the start to the finish. Pull it back, pull it back from your chin. We're not taking guys off the street. We're looking for the best young fighting talent. I want to get a fighter that has some pride about fighting for his nation and then the heart to do it too. And our job as coaches is to spot that talent and then to groom it and take these guys as far as they can go in the sport. Tonight, MMA Sport Federation presents the rematch. Team USA and Team Ireland. We are in the Chicago suburbs at the DuPage Expo Center in St. Charles, Illinois, on the grounds of Pheasant Run Resort, Sky Drysdale Ringside, with a name that's synonymous with mixed martial arts, my buddy Big Papa Schnocky. Welcome back to Chicagoland. I'll tell you what, Sky, I am so amped up. Number one, to be hanging out with you. Number two, to watch Team Ireland and Team USA go at it again. Last time, it went to a draw. It went to a blackjack push. Tonight, neither team wants that. I'm cranked to be here, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like a huge round of applause. Please welcome in with the Dundee Scottish Pipes, Mr. Mark Keeger and Team Ireland. We're talking international team competition and international stage. These fighters on Team USA, Schnocky, are held to a very strict code of conduct because once they put that patch on the red, white, and blue jacket, they're representing not only Team USA, they're representing this country both in and out of the ring. Well, absolutely, and you can say the same thing for Team Ireland. They came all the way over from the Emerald Isle as we watched them enter the cage while the bagpipes are playing Call to Arms. Beautiful song, love it. But you know what, when it comes down to it, these guys have come here to not only represent themselves, but represent their team, their country. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your Team USA! And that's what every single one of these fighters are feeling here tonight. They want to win for themselves personally, but first and foremost, win as a team. Speaking of that team, Team USA coming out, being led tonight by Joe Warden, and Master Bob Shermer. And who's leading them out? Not the bagpipes, but those beautiful, beautiful ladies. We got broads and beatdowns. That's what Team USA is all about. Hell, our national anthem is about bombs bursting in air sky. With every passing fight, whether these guys are fighting abroad or whether they're fighting here, these guys are really starting to gel as a team. It's unbelievable to see these guys in action, to see how they're coming together, training together, and pushing for that big team win. It's Team USA versus Team Ireland. We're live at the DuPage Expo Center, St. Charles, Illinois. We're gonna take care of the national anthems and your first fight. The 
USA versus Team Ireland brought to you by MMA Sport Federation. Sky Drysdale along with Big Papa Schnocky. We're at the DuPage Expo Center, St. Charles, Illinois. You know, I tell you what, everybody's going crazy. Everybody wants to see this rematch. And right here, this is something that we really, really promote. It's that Team Com set, but more importantly, it's that Brotherhood of Combat. As you see, Team Ireland and Team USA shaking hands, introducing themselves to each other. And then in a couple of minutes, they're going to be blasting each other in the face. But first and foremost, it's all about that camaraderie, that camaraderie of combat. And we here are just all about that. When your only goal is to be the greatest, you can only trust one kind of fight gear to be with you in the ring to get you to the top. To bring nothing but complete and total devastation. For more information, go to totaldevastationfightgear.com. Go online now to buy tickets. This is your last chance to see Australia's best. Competing with Team USA for MMA dominance. One night, Saturday, May 7th, right here at the DePage Expo Center. See Team USA's best fighters. Josh Shermer, Brandon Maddox, Pearl Gonzalez, Eric Daigle, Alex White. Don't miss the amazing girls of Team USA. Tickets available now online at MMASF.com, where the best young fighters take on the world. Set the stage, we're going to be fighting three three-minute rounds with a minute rest in between. No knees or elbows to the head. No kicks to the head of a down fighter. No striking behind the ears or up through the crown of the head. And to get our first fight underway, here's ring announcer Chris Garrity. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time for the rematch. Team USA versus Team Ireland. 
And are you folks ready to see our first fight? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the cage, Ellen Philpott. Okay, both of these fighters, 135 pounds. Philpott representing Team Irish, a 19-year-old, standing 5'6", four wins, three losses under his belt, 63-inch reach. Well, I'll tell you what, Phil Pot, unbelievable stand-up. He has some of the quickest hands I'm seeing at the 135-pound weight class. He is explosive, Sky, explosive. And that giant 63-inch reach at 135 pounds, that is tremendous. Both of these fighters with seven fights under their belt. Little reach advantage there, a couple of inches, but there's definitely an age advantage. And then Josh Shermer, of course, is going to be the opponent representing Team USA. Son of Bob Shermer, he's got experience. We're talking years of experience Next under his up, belt. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, your representative from Team USA, Josh Shermer. Now, Shermer, 5-3. Five, 5-3. Three. Five, three. Look at what Daddy's doing. He's smashing him on the spinal cord, back of the neck, to get that boy amped up and get him crazy. Because that's what the Shermer family is all about. They're all about yuck, yuck. Shermer can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with you and trade blows, but if you go to the ground, he's just as dangerous. Well, he's a monster from the top position. Plain and simple, those years of wrestling, that wrestling background, and great jiu-jitsu that he learned under his dad. Now, the fact that he can stand with anybody is just because he's freaking crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, the MMA Sport Federation, Team USA versus Team Ireland is brought to you by the Fairfield Marriott and Bud Light. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, your cage side physician for all bouts this evening, Dr. Bruce Hertz. Your judges, Jim Zabilski, Bill Henniger, and Mr. Clay Goodman with timekeeper, Terry Hoffman. Ladies and gentlemen, our first bout of the evening is a bantamweight contest scheduled for three rounds. Introducing first and representing Team Ireland, Ellen Hoopa! His opponent is this man fighting out of the red corner and representing Team USA. Josh Shermer! Okay, referee Rodney Crow bringing the fighters together. We've got the stare off going down. Significant size difference here. Yeah, you can see it right there, Sky. Unbelievable size difference. Phil Pot, it towers over the leprechaun, Joshua Shermer. Have you ever seen anybody more focused than Josh Shermer? Every time he comes to the ring, it's A game all the way. Well, I'll tell you what, they call him Berserker Rage for a reason. He just gets in there and he monsters out. Berserker! Shermer got his first introduction to the wrestling mat at the age of five. Do you want to get with me, Berserker? Now, this is what I'm talking about, Sky. Here we go. We started off. Shermer needs to close this distance. You can see he threw a kick. He was nowhere near him. And Phil Pot, he's just got them long arms compared to Shermer. Great job. Phil Pot actually going for the takedown. We got a mouthpiece yeah, loose. And look at that. Armbar thrown on by Phil Pot immediately. Great job. Now trying to set up a triangle. Great transition back into the armbar. Wow, Phil Pot was quick off of his back. Oh, he's got it in there. Nope. Shermer out. Great job by the Berserker Rage. Beautiful job sitting inside mount by Shermer. Collecting tons of back points here. But Phil that does not help in the MMA arena, brother. Phil Pot with a four-inch reach advantage, a three-inch height advantage. Both these fighters tipping the scales at 135. Shermer trying to soften him up with a couple pitter pats to the face. Phil Pot needs to push the face. Oh, look at that! Oh, Shermer tried a key lock. Looked like he was trying to set up a key lock, and great job by Phil Pot rolling through and getting back to his feet there. 
Alan Philpott in the black trunks, representing Team Ireland. Josh Shermer in the blue, representing Team USA. I'm a leprechaun. Look at those hands, that hand speed of Philpott. I talked about it earlier, Sky. Wow, was he quick right there. Shermer looking unfazed, though. You gotta hit that guy pretty hard to, to get his oh, attention. Oh, what a throw! What a throw by Shermer! Wow! Philpott tried to go for a single leg. Oh, look at Shermer, Shermer! Go. Wow! There it is. That was gorgeous! <laughs> look at the athleticism of the Berserker Rage. Joshua Shermer. It was set up beautifully. He sprawled out off of that. Kind of a weak attempt at a single leg by Philpott. Philpott got taken down with that beautiful head and arm throw. It was gorgeous. And then Shermer just set up a, 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 a leg key lock, almost a leg Americana arm bar, and Philpott could do nothing but tap out. It was in. Incredible. So in the interest of international team competition, that's USA 1, Team Ireland zip. And with the final word, let's take things back up to our ring announcer, Chris Garrity. And ladies and gentlemen, the end of this bout comes at 1 minute 57 seconds of round number 1. For your winner by Tarantula Armbar and putting Team USA up 1 to nothing, Berserker Rage, Josh Schumer! Let's take things back up to our ring announcer, Chris Garrity.